All right, this is um, cold coffee I'm having. Good morning. It is 6.33. Today is Thursday, uh, the 23rd of September. All right. You know, I once posted sometime last year about how I had a classmate whose husband died. They didn't even have life insurance. And I talked about the importance of life insurance. Well, I hear there's an, um, what do you call it, a celebrity of sorts. Uh, I guess he's a comedian. And he passed away. I guess he had a heart attack. And his wife is begging, have a GoFundMe, you know, because they were irresponsible. They did not establish life insurance. Now, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. I don't care about anybody's feelings, all right? I'm just going to say for what it is. And the thing is, you got to be, come on, man. This is fucking basic. If you are in the United States of America, if you are born in the United States of America, you are a working adult, 18, 19 years old and up. You need to get life insurance for yourself. It doesn't matter if you are single. It doesn't matter if you're married. It doesn't matter if you have children or not. You will have to be buried. Okay? What is life insurance? Life insurance is for when you pass, that money can be used to bury yourself and take care of the other costs. If you have family members like a wife, a husband, children, that money can be used to provide for your family on top of taking care of any burial cost, okay? I don't, I don't understand it, you know. People uh, could find time to, you know, get the latest and greatest technology, the latest and greatest uh, sneakers, uh, looking into buying these big-ass houses while they have student loans, credit cards, uh, getting the latest car, just a mountain of goddamn debt, but you can't get life insurance. You don't think it's worth your time. Look at people. We're all going to die. We are all going to die. I've had life insurance forever. Okay. Number one, you could take it out. You can have a little policy with your job. But remember, a lot of people are not staying on the job until they die. Okay. You can also get a policy outside of the job. Okay, there's, look it up. Use Google. Google is your friend. There's all types of policies. Term, whole, you know. I'm not going to tell you what's better than what. There's different, people feel different ways. But my thing is, get something. We're all going to die. We don't know when our time is up. The least you can do, the very least, is not be a burden on your family. I'm going to just put it out there. This dude that died, whoever he is, comedian, whatever, he just became a burden to his wife and family and just showed the whole world they are not financially fit. Shown the world that he did not take care of his family. It's bad enough you die at a young age of a heart attack. So that showed that you did not take care of yourself. Okay. And let's be real. Um, a lot of men do not survive their spouse, the woman. Okay. So, as a man supposed to be the provider, 
the leader of the home, that's part of it. That's part of the job. Provide life insurance. You're supposed to be the protector, the provider, the leader. Your ass is not leading if you don't have life insurance. Mama Max just said it. I don't care. I just said it. Even if you're single, no children, get you a small policy, 50 grand, so you could get buried or cremated, something. Cremation is going up, especially since COVID-19. Yeah, I'll say the whole damn world, because uh, <laughs> what am I losing? I'm not losing anything. I keep telling y'all, I'm not getting paid for this. I put I put out information so you all can make better decisions. But we all need to be buried and we do not need to be a burden. I think the worst thing when you die is to have your own family speak badly of you. Because you have been a financial burden. You want to leave, you know, when you depart this life, you want to leave positivity. You know, well, damn, you know, it's a shame he died or she died, but, you know, at least she's taking care of her family. She has money set aside. Life insurance does not even cost that much, y'all. All right, I, I'm not throwing out, I, you know, I'm not, as I told you, I don't get paid by anybody. I'm a lab tech. I get paid for my job in the medical field. But you could get, I don't want to throw out any names, okay? But you can get a policy for, let's say, $100,000. And it's three hundred, about three fifty, not a month, but one time, three hundred. Now, if you want to break that down to the payments, fine. But you could, if you could afford to just pay that, you can. But you could also make payments. So for a hundred thousand dollar policy, it can cost three fifty. Okay. And when you die, the beneficiaries will get that lump sum money, non-tax, no tax whatsoever. And they can bury you, they can handle your final affairs, and you can break them off some money. This is, look y'all, th this is basic. To me, having life insurance is basic. And I think this is embarrassing. Time and time again, people do not have life insurance. They're talking about they don't have any money. Even if your ass is broke, you're telling me you can't come up with $300 and you live in the United States of America? You can't come up with money? For life insurance? Really? Even, e uh, look, even if you have pre, you know, what's, what do you call it? Pre-existing conditions. You can get some little, little policy out there. Okay? You can get a couple of policies. $10,000, something. At least get cremated because, like I said, <laughs> since COVID-19, the price of cremation has gone up. Yeah, so folks, for real, don't be an embarrassment to your family and your friends. Please, please establish 
life insurance for yourself. There are several companies out there that has life insurance. I don't care if you're married. I don't care if you're single. Don't have your loved ones begging on your behalf so they can bury you. That is basic. All right, this is Omanike. I find personally find this disgusting. I personally do. And it just shows to me this person did not take care of his family. And it's a goddamn shame. And I said what I said, and I meant what I said. 